everyone, it's me again, just your ordinary project girl, and in today's video, we are going to do the second needs exam, which is going to be divination. Okay, so if you already watched my first nudes exam, which is the potions exam, or if you watched the announcement video, you know how this is going to work. But if you're new to this channel, hey, welcome! I do all kinds of different Harry Potter videos and also bookish videos in general. And this is going to be a Harry Potter nudes exam series where you'll be able to take your own nudes exams together with me. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun videos coming your way. Okay, but let's start with the divination quiz. Question number one is, what does the sun in your tea leaves symbolize? And the correct answer is, it symbolizes great happiness. And we saw that in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, where it is mentioned by Harry and Ron when they read their tea leaves. And as you can see here in the first line, it says the sun means great happiness. Okay, let's move on to the second question, which is name all the divination books that are mentioned in Harry Potter. Okay, so there are a bunch of divination books mentioned in Harry Potter, but let's start with the semi-easy ones, which are the ones that are actually used in class in divination, and that is Unfogging the Future by Cassandra Wroblewski, and this is mentioned in Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban, so Harry needs to buy that book, and yeah, they use it in class there, in their first year of divination. Then we have... The Dream Oracle by Inigo Imago. I think they use it in their fifth year in divination, but it's definitely also used in divination class. Now to the harder ones. We have Death Omens. What to do when you know the worst is coming. And that book is mentioned when Harry is in Flourish and Blood shopping for his third year book, so in Prison of Azkaban. And he sees that book standing there on the shelf somewhere. We also have Omens, Oracles and the Goat by Matilda Backshot. The Predictions of Tycho Dodonos and Xilomancy by Selina Sapworthy. So if you knew all of these books, you are a real divination expert. But I think it is already quite good to know Unfogging the Future and Dream Oracle and Death Omens. The other ones are really pretty hard. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to question number three, which is how many kind of true prophecies does Professor Trelawney make in Harry Potter? And the correct answer is two. If you remember, she made the kind of big prophecy about Harry and Voldemort where it said like a child I think was born at the end of the month and that this child would be able to fight Voldemort and would be dangerous for him. So that was the first prophecy. And then the other one was the one in Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban where Professor Trelawney said that the servant of Voldemort would return to his master and that was the prophecy about Pettigrew and Voldemort. So these two prophecies actually fulfilled in Harry Potter. Let's move on to question number four, which is already our second to last question. And it is, name all the disciplines divination class in Harry Potter involves. So here there are actual names for all these different disciplines. But if you know what the discipline is, it's also okay. You don't have to know the actual name. Okay, so we have crystal gazing, which is the kind of looking into the crystal ball that we see kind of a lot in Divination in Harry Potter. Then we also have palmistry, which is kind of hand reading. We have astrology, which is basically stargazing. And tessomancy, which is reading the tea leaves. And then we have haptomology and ornithomancy. 
and both of these are just very briefly mentioned in Harry Potter, so it's good if you knew these ones. So there are not any definitions of these in Harry Potter, but basically heptomology is said to be about the number seven. And ornithomancy is about birds. As I said, they are just very briefly mentioned in Harry Potter. So for example, it is mentioned that Umbridge demands that Professor Trelawney demonstrates her skills in heptomology in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And now we already have reached our last question, which is, what does a falcon in your tea leaves symbolize? And as you can see here, the falcon, my dear, you have a deadly enemy. So the falcon symbolizes basically a deadly enemy. So Professor Trelawney also saw that in Harry's cup of tea in his tea leaves. Okay guys, that is already the end of this divination newts exam. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in more Harry Potter quiz videos, subscribe to that channel because I'm going to upload a lot of these in the future, especially in the month of August because this is the newts exam quiz month. But I already have a lot of Harry Potter quiz videos, so if you're interested in those, check them out. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye guys!